Hey YouTube and thank you for watching Junkworks Garage. Well as you can see I got a box in front of me from Amazon here and yet again I have gone and bought some more lights but this time from Amazon. Now the garage lights I have that I leave in place are Amazon lights but as a lot of you know the ones that I use to move around my shop are Harbor Freight lights as well as many of my outdoor ones are har pretty much all of them are Harbor Freight lights. Um, but this time I decided the Harbor Freight ones that are working aren't quite getting enough light. Although I really like the last ones I bought. I'll show you those in this video so you know what I'm talking about later. But I decided to grab these off Amazon. I don't know. They're cheaper looking than I thought they were going to be. And they're definitely smaller than I thought they were going to be. But the cool thing about them, and they're these... Wakolo, I don't know, lights. Um, but they got the got this on here, but it very I mean you got it that way and that way, that's it. There's not a whole lot of movement and there's no side to side. But the cool thing is is that these lights do move a lot. So I'll be able to have like one facing towards my garage door, one facing towards my mom's door, and then one or two probably facing way out we'll bring this one down maybe a little bit but it gives you a lot of light in a lot of direction uh, biggest thing you gotta know though is that obviously you need sun this has got to be in the sun so uh when we mount this it's going to have to be out further it can't be up underneath the eave of the house um, so i'm going to go mount this we're going to go test it a bit um, it doesn't appear it came wrapped up in the plastic oh which actually in this one this was the first one i pulled out didn't appear to have any mounting hardware but the second one up inside the plastic was mounting hardware it looks like for both um, so we have the mounting hardware it also comes with a couple of remotes which is kind of cool um, so you can turn these off if you just want them off for some reason which is nice and uh, something kind of nice about this one that I just figured out is that the mounting thing actually comes off so you can mount it and then put this in. So that'll make a life a lot easier. tested the remote I did actually have to put that mount down a little bit so I could get it up under the roofing that was coming out and put it down but so you have to remember you have to leave enough room to get that up into the saddle there um, it doesn't appear I mean there's two screws that's all you need so it come, came with like an extra thing of screws here um, I pretty much never use these little clippy things here which I'll just throw away I have more than enough of those that I never use um, and then there's extra screws that we'll be able to mount this one with now this I did test the remote it did turn on it definitely does not come with much power because it shuts off right away and that's something about these that I've noticed as well so I was kind of looking I'll show you on this one um, it just has the sensor and an on off button I am not seeing although I haven't read the directions but I am not seeing anything anywhere where you can adjust the time amount that it stays on and off that may be part of the button right here it does have mode 1 mode 2 and mode 3 it appears mode 1 is bright, mode 2 is not as bright, but I couldn't tell what mode 3 was. But also because there wasn't hardly any charge in it, I don't know as maybe mode 3 is really bright and it just can't do it. I don't know. Um, so it just has on, off, um, and the three modes for this. It is nice that you can turn it on and off because out my mom's back door there is no light whatsoever into the backyard coming out that door sorry for the sweating it's like 103 or 4 degrees out there but regardless out my mom's door 
she doesn't have any kind of light so I'm going to stick one of these out there and she'll be able to turn it on and off when she needs to use it um, plus hopefully it'll just sensor come on I don't know if you turn it off if the next time you walk by it the sensor will sense it or not I don't know we will play with this further right now I'm gonna let it charge out there in the Sun play with that one a bit and then I will be back to kind of give you more of an update of how well it is or is not working I also did notice I there's not a lot of movement in these as well there there needs to be more movement they needed to make this a little taller so that it could actually I mean because this isn't going to do you any good if it's back this way maybe if you're on a fence or something like that but on the side of a house and this is hooked to the side of the house you don't have a lot of motion there I mean up you aren't going to use it so pretty much everything is going to be in this area maybe you'll have something right below it that you want to light up for some reason and most of the time you're probably wanting to throw the light off this way but honestly I have where mine is if you look in the video there is a door right behind it here and my mom's door behind it on here and I couldn't get these to go down without going like that so but then you don't have any more motion you have it there or up here and then you can bring it this way or this way but only that amount so I tried putting it up and back but then it's kind of shining up over the door so I ended up doing it like that so we'll see I'll play with a little bit um, I, time will tell they were cheap yet again I will put a price below because I don't know as I've done that yet because I never remember how much I pay for things All right. All right, YouTube. Well, I just walked through my mess of lights there, so they're all mostly on. Uh, I will say that the one on the trailer here uh, is not working so great. It works, but you got to be fairly close to it before it comes on for some reason, and I have it set like I normally set it. So, I mean, I'm five feet away from the thing. It, should, it used to work 30 feet away, so I don't know, and it turns off really fast as you just saw so I'm gonna have to mess with that one so yet again if you want to see each one of these I have videos on every single one of these um, so go check out my uh, Harbor Freight playlist probably is where most of them are from well all of these are Harbor Freight ones so go check out that one see just went out again here wave my hand and by the time I walk away it will be out again um, this one here seems to or you know six or eight feet away it came on it's actually working fine it works fine when uh, the weather's nice as soon as the rain comes then uh, it'll either stay on all the time or never come on one or the other but right now during the summer it's working okay um, it's just now starting to get darker getting into what's supposed to be cooler seasons even though we're still hitting triple digits here but uh there if you look at the middle one there you go so it just came on lighter um, those seem to stay on all the time and then shut off during the day and then when you get close to them so they're on when you get close to them they pop on I really really like these ones here and it's the same one that I put over my mom's door right there um, see it, it's on all the time when you get closer it lights up same with this one here it's on but it turns off and on based on whether or not you're here Yet again, I'd already walked by all these, and that one stays on quite a while, but then it gets brighter again. Really like that one too, but I think these ones, without blinding you, are quite a bit brighter. Um, so, yet again, I got two of those, and I'm glad I did. I, those are my favorite ones right now. They're not super bright. The ones like that one there they're a lot brighter if you want to or the one on the trailer if you really need to see something these ones are good path lighters make it so you can find your way uh, that one is what came with the house a long time ago and I need to change it out and it's just an automatic sensor that's plugged in all the time or directly attached to electricity all the rest of these are all solar that one's the only one that's electricity and then we have this one and a whiny dog behind me. You're okay, pup. 
So now we got the Amazon one, the one I am doing this video on basically, and I'm not very happy with it. It doesn't sense. It does not sense anything at all from what I've been able to do, or this one's not working. You have to use the remote to turn it off and on. Um, something I have noticed is if you're back here more than six or eight feet away, I'm turning it off right now. I'm hitting the button as you can see, nothing. So I have to be really close, almost right underneath it, still hitting the button. Nope, oh, there we go. I mean, I'm maybe eight feet away altogether. And even down here, uh, let's see, if I bring this button down here, okay, and I'm quite a ways down. Oh, it worked that time. I was trying to do it. There we go. There's off. Oh, there's on. Nope, right about there. So, now it's not working. Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't know. It seems to randomly come on and off depending on how far away you are. Um, I'm not very happy with it. It lights it up somewhat. Let's see. All the rest of these are going to normally be on, so um, we're going to turn that off. And there's my Volkswagen there. That one just went off. Uh, all the rest of them are kind of shutting down. They're not sensing me anymore. So there's my Volkswagen right there. And here is the light on. And as you can see, it lights it up a little bit more. Boy, they all are going off here. So there's uh, mode one mode two and i still don't know what mode three is there's mode three so it might be in the middle yeah it's probably in the middle so a real dim a little bit brighter and a lot brighter so yeah mode three is just dimmer um, i don't know why they went from brightest to dimmest to middle brightest number three i would have probably had number two be the middle one but hey that's me I'm not an engineer. Um, yet again, I have those lights pointed towards the door here so that I can see my keys in the door. And as you can see, let's see, we'll turn it off. There is normal. And there is with the light on the brightest it can go. So not a huge difference, a little bit of a difference, but not, not as much as I was hoping. So honestly, I might take that those two lights and bring them out into the driveway area so that I have better light out here. Well, hopefully this has been enlightening for you. Come on, how to do it. Uh, am I happy with it? No, not really. Um, I was hoping it would have a sensor so that, like the rest of them, it would come on when I walked by. Um, it puts out okay light but not the kind of light i was hoping for by the door i might be able to do some more adjustments and figure it out hey it just went out all by itself so i don't know how long that was but uh it must go it has a timer so it does go off at least um, but also <laughs> i set that somewhere and i uh, forgot where i put it and how to go find it so that's another downside to this is you'd have to carry it around with you if you ever want to use this light and the whole point of lights is that are outside or that they come on when you need them to. If this had a timer or something like that, I'd maybe be happier, but it doesn't. It's on or off. It obviously shuts itself off, but you have to turn it on. And that is the downfall for me. Which maybe what I do is actually stick this somewhere else um, where I can push the button on and off when I want to use it. So we'll see maybe later on down the road you'll see a video for that all right thanks for watching junkworks diy garage where i'm proud to say i'm a jack of all and obviously master none you all have a good one